What up? It's your boy Paulo. We're here with a little beer review. It's close but far from Jackie O's Brewing. It's out of Athens, Ohio. Um, I do a little research to figure out the hops on this so that no info on the can. Um, it's got Citra, Centennial, Simcoe, and Zappa hops. And then uh, with the malt, it's a, it's actually uses some oat in the brew, and the the oats are exclusively Ohio grown oats and malts. But um, I'm not sure. Like on, it didn't say I couldn't figure out what kind, but I just know that they're they were grown in Ohio. I did have a little little bit of this yesterday, and it is quite delicious. So I had to revisit it for you guys. Very nice, nice little pour here. Hopefully uh, a little bit of sunshine, a little outside video will uh, show a little bit more of the color. It's really pretty. It's considered a hazy India pale ale. Um, we're coming in at 6.5% here, so it's, you know, it's up there. Um, I'll try to get you a good close-up of this can art. I don't know if that's going to come through real good on the angle or not, but uh, pretty cool little porcupine action, some trees and flowers. Um, Jackie O's usually uh, has some really cool art. Um, recently they've changed up some of their art. It hasn't been that great, but it usually still pretty cool there we go lever here for you to see as well the smell is delicious um, you definitely get a little bit of notes of citrus I would almost say it has like a little bit of a berry on the smell. Like a, kind of a blueberry esque smell, not very strong. Like I wouldn't say strawberry or anything like that. It would be strong. I like a light berry. I don't know what, what a lingonberry. Is that a light berry? I don't know. I'm going to do some berry research. So definitely get the notes of citrus, like always. I could, if I would say I could pick up any hops, it would be the Citra. First taste, I'm gonna say um, slightly a little bitter, but uh, it's it's hazy, so it mellows really quick. It doesn't leave a lingering bitter. Just a that first touch is a little better. And when it finishes, kind of dry. It's delicious. It's got a the mouth feel that's there is more of an IPA than a hazy. It's a little bit more resinous and hoppy uh, up front, but it finishes really smooth and mellow it doesn't linger with any of the bitter it doesn't i wouldn't say this doesn't have any pine or resinous or earthy notes at all this is all all fruit forward and then uh you, the i think when you do oats and ipas like this it's really to kind of smooth it out give it more of a smooth finish you know like with the new england ipas i'm pretty sure a lot of that a lot of those have price hole and oats and um i've seen i've had an ipa that was made with quaker oatmeal and it was fantastic but i digress let's get back to the beer it's super smooth drinking for a 6.5 I wouldn't necessarily say melon, but almost like a maybe a stone fruit or something mild like that, which a lot of people will say with 
citra hops, you'll get those type of flavors. But when you've got Citra, Centennial, Simcoe, and Zappa, it's hard to place which hop you're really tasting because Citra, Simcoe are both going to have a lot of citrus, dank type of taste where uh, your Centennial will have some piney and resinous too as well. But um, the Zappa I think is more of like a mellow kind of hop, like a sabro light a light flavored type of thing more to to be mellow and not so uh, bitter and forward give you the the flavor but not the uh ling lingering aftertaste I'm starting to get all highfalutin on my uh terms here but, uh, I do say like a, the Citra, I think is the main hop that I'm tasting. I wouldn't say, if you gave this to me, I would not say it had Simcoe in it. I would say it had maybe Citra and something soft, real soft, which I think the Zappa, like I said, I can't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure the ones I've had before with Zappa are more, you know, I guess like the melony and um, berry stuff comes through with those style of hops, but I said, can't quote me on that. I'm no expert, but I, uh, I have had, you know, probably over 3,000 different individual beers of varying styles. And, you know, if we're talking actual beer count, I'm, you know, <laughs> 25,000, I, I don't know. That's a, just a shot in the dark, but it's a, uh, I, I know on the untapped, I've got like 1,500 on one account, and I think I had another account that had close to 500 on it, so that's, you know... <laughs> about 2,000 of them that are actually logged in and there's probably a good thousand or more that I never even bothered to check in or tell anybody else about uh, what happens when you're an old man like, I think I've been drinking IPAs and craft beer since like 2014 2015 so you know you're talking six seven years so you know 365 days a year that's you know, do the math. It's not a whole lot of beer. Three thousand beers in that amount of time is not definitely plausible. Now, uh, next year I'm planning on drinking six thousand beers. <laughs> no, I'm just playing, guys. Uh, we'll get through this. It's definitely delicious. I could drink it all day. I know, maybe not all day. Two of them probably would be about all I would have of this, and then I'd want to go to something else. But it definitely, um, I used to, when I first started getting into IPAs, I really loved Citra hops, where I thought were just the best, just the greatest. And then um, once I got a little bit more knowledge and stuff, and started getting some real fresh Citra hops, and I, I brew, I've brewed some myself with, really good high quality citra hops and they're kind of a weird like they they'll do a weird thing they'll you'll get almost a what the hell just happened it's your boy paulo uh my video got cut off man i'm not sure what happened we'll try to uh edit a little splice in for this we're just gonna we're gonna pour this up real nice and smooth and give you just a little bit of a finish just so i can say goodbye Pretty there. All right, that's for you guys. See you next time.